It's half past four in the morning. Why are we up at half past four in the morning? Coatridge. Which is on Buckley Hill at Teeth Moor. Thoughts? Um, fear, trepidation, nervousness. I was up Buckley Hill at Teeth Moor about two weeks ago. It's a beautiful mountain, but it's a nightmare mountain. I certainly didn't do it by curve ridge and I found it difficult enough as it was. So, curve ridge, having seen what I've seen, terrifies me. Potentially we might die today? Oh, I think so. Half of the course when I'm with you though. Go on my own perfectly safe day. Every time you pop up on the photographs, there's something dangerous happening. But nice views. Nice views. It's a good day to die. You could have cleaned a windscreen, right? Sorry. There's the big fella. What's it called? Uh, Bukayel Atifmo. Bukata. It's known as the Big Bukal. The Big Bukal? The Big Bukal, the shepherd of Glenco. The big Bugle Shepherd of Glencoe. Are you not just showing off now? Yes, I am. Yes. He's done one moon in Glencoe, and then thinks he's thinks he's a mountain climber. This is the Skyfall Road. This is the Skyfall Road. James Bond shit. Yeah. Where's Curved Ridge? I couldn't spot it directly, but if you look, the ridge is at the side there, around the side to the left. It's something around one of those. I think I can probably see there's a curve in the. Basically, you're going flat up the front of the car. So why why are you being grumpy? Not being grumpy, mate. Just uh, enjoying my day with you so far. We've only been out for half an hour, mate. You're being grumpy with me. Five minutes to get me backpack on. You fancy your coffee? So backpacks off again. Cars open. Help yourself to your coffee. <laughs> you're such a grumpy little sausage. Have you seen the amount of shit in your wife's car? You could have made an effort, pal. State of it. Look at you and your regatta basics. <laughs> Professional rock climber gear, this, mate. How much was that? A fiver? About seven quid, I think. <laughs> Here's a question. Uh -huh. If our guy doesn't turn up for whatever reason, uh -huh. would we still do it? We wouldn't do coverage, no. You'd be very welcome to, but you'd be on your own. We still do the mountain. We are just contemplating how the guide will spot us. <laughs> yeah. how, how many how many fat lads yeah. are waiting about in the car park? We don't stand out here at all. <laughs> we just look like we really fit in. It'll be hard push to identify us. You yeah, are no. It's gonna be difficult for him, isn't it? Two lost looking fat lads. <laughs> Without a clue. <laughs> yeah. Look at the size of that bastard. <laughs> so, can I just ask you what curve ridge? What, what what's it like? What, what 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 are we to be expecting? So, curve ridge is a grade three scramble. Um, so, that's where scrambling starts to merge into easy rock climbing. Right. Um, so, expect to use your hands lots. Expect a couple of bits to feel quite steep but it's on some of the best rock on the mountain. So it's a brilliant route. And what, what do you mean by the best rock? Really kind of solid rock. Um, the way it's shaped, uh, every kind of handhold is just perfect for your hands. 
lots of good footholds, so you make, just feels like being a big kid, to be honest. Great you, fun. You make it sound so easy, Bob. <laughs> Well, we'll see, we'll see. It is, uh, it is the joy scrambling for me. It's like, it's like rock climbing without all the fat, without having to stop so much. You just get, you get into that flow of just moving up the mountain. So, so would, do you reckon this would be suitable, curved ridge? For, I mean, we haven't got a lot of experience, but for somebody with zero experience? Probably not, probably not zero experience. There is a little bit of route finding to do. So you've got to make sure you get onto the right, right part of the mountain first. And... You know, certainly if you aren't using ropes, there are some bits you don't want to fall off of. So we'll be roped up for that in yeah. our insurance policy. Um, so yeah, but it's one for a lot of people to aspire to. But of all the scrambles, I'm sure curved ridge is still my favourite. It is. Ah, it's just that the rocks are lovely. It's really nice. Kind yeah. of... Here's a question. I'm jumping the gun a little bit. Go for it. We were watching a video last night on the inaccessible... Inaccessible what? pinnacle, yeah. Pinnacle. yeah. And it looked utterly terrifying. <laughs> However, if we survive today, yeah. you're kind of thinking, I'd love to. Is that just a bridge too far? I don't think so. No? I think see how you get on today. So, grade-wise, the inaccessible pinnacle isn't really much harder than what we'll do today. Really? What it is, is just sensationally exposed. Yeah. So... That's the that's the big thing, but in terms of actually the physical movement, it's not really that much harder than today. Oh right. If you can climb a ladder, you can climb an accessible pinnacle. It's just keeping your brain in check that you kind of focus on it and don't get too overwhelmed by the kind of exposure. And you do um, single trips as well, don't you? You don't have to take two people. Yeah, yeah, we can take take kind of. So Dave, you can go on your own on that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so you, 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 if we want to book up sometime, you, you do that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, we'll get a, we'll get a book file. It's nice today, guys. You'll get a real sense of being mountaineers today. You get to the top and you feel like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, i have moved beyond hill walking. I'm a <laughs> yeah. I, I remember that exact same feeling. My wife and I came up here years ago and... And we, you know, we were in our 20s, so we're invincible back then, yeah. so we didn't use ropes. I had helmets on mine, yeah. but I remember getting to the top just like, that was, that was amazing. And just a real, a real hunger for it after that, you know. How do you feel then, Paul? Um, nervously anxious. Um, I'll be glad in six hours' time, providing I'm still alive. Um, but certainly, you can't complain about the day. It's beautiful. Couldn't be better. Yeah, I feel a bit more confident now than I did an hour ago. Do you? Uh, good blog. Oh yeah, oh yeah. absolutely, good blog, yeah. Oh, I think we're in safe hands. Yeah, it's a nice ratio of walking to scrambling today. You feel like you, you get to the scrambling relatively quickly. Yep. You all right, Paul? I am. On a yeah, just stick with us experts, mate. That's what I'll do, thank you. Thank you both for keeping me safe. You're welcome. Having fun? Uh, fun? Fun's a word that implies pleasure, enjoyment. Um, I would say that I'm looking forward to having achieved this, but it's another one like the Anok where achievement is more important, I think, than actually doing. Whereas I've been enjoying the mountains over the last 12 weeks, I can't call this enjoy and it hasn't even started. I'm enjoying me most, Paul. Again. Yeah. See, once you get round the corner, oh, yeah. it becomes a bit more obvious. Yeah, yeah. No bother, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. No bother. have fun. Yeah. Yeah. That makes you a better human being than me, because if it was my business, it'd be like, <laughs> give us your credit card, <laughs> then you get the advice, pal. You ooze finesse, Doug. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not quite sure what the finesse of what, but you use it. Thanks, pal. To the rock today, yeah. So the rope is your insurance policy, but you have the ability to climb this. Be, yeah. So we want to be kind of, you know, keeping ourselves attached. Yeah. yeah. And if that just means taking your time, that's cool. We've yeah. got all day. It's a sunny Absolutely. day. It's just here to enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to get quite bossy with you now and give you oh, some commands you. like yeah. pause and yeah. freeze and stand yeah. strong and stuff like that. And yeah. that's how we'll kind of work. And uh, yeah, just just enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. Just stand strong, guys. So stand strong means get your feet nice and secure. Yeah. If there's a nice rock for you to just grab onto, feel free yeah. to do that. And just make sure a gust of wind is not going to blow you away. No. You okay? Yeah. All right. So far so good. And just pull on when you're ready, guys. Fantastic. All good? All good. All good. This is the most fun I've had since yesterday. I don't believe how well acquainted to your butt cheeks I am becoming. <laughs> yep. It's not a nice acquaintance. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not nice for me either, mate. We're like broke back mountain here. <laughs> what happens on the mountain? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Need a bit of alone time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. Just watch that rope trailing on your leg, pal. Bloody hell. Okay. Okay, guys, climb when you're ready. Thank you. Slow is good, pal. Yeah. Absolutely no worry. Uh, yeah, just give it a second. That's it. Yeah, it's fine. You okay? All good. Come straight up towards me, Doug. Yeah. This way, rather than that. This way, right? Actually, right. Just, just a couple of steps up to me there, Doug. That's great. See if you can kind of stand from here. All is there for me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good tip to me was every time you bring your foot down, oh. imagine you're squishing a piece of blue tackle off the mountain. Right. Really squish your foot down. Does all sorts push of it, things with your centre of gravity. Right. Just watch this next part. You can see there's a lot of, kind of jenga on the on the rocks here. Uh -huh. All this stuff. So just watch you don't, especially you, Doug. You don't give Doug a, uh, Dave a headache with the yeah, <laughs> yeah. dropping the rock on him. He might not like that very much. All right, guys. Do you want the rope yeah. unhooked? Is the rope to unhook from this rock? Yeah, just lift that up. There you go. Careful, please, I'll loosen it. Yep. Yeah. You might just have to go for the big high step here, Doug. That's cool. This one here. Yeah, yeah. Just try to go for this solid rock. Yeah. Ah. Good stuff starts, so uh, great. Oh, this wasn't it. Uh, this is just a warm up, mate. Yes. Nice. All right. Can I have some water, please? Oh, for fuck's sake. It's so cold. If you go up to the, go up to the left, it's a wee bit easier. Great, so we're just going to stop below where that chap is there, guys, and that's where the kind of slightly, that's where the grade three kind of bit oh, starts. Oh, super, super. Yeah. So this is the easy stuff. This is your warm up. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's quite, quite yeah. steep, that bit there. Good, good. Right, fantastic. Right, out the door. Right. Uh, and really, you want to be looking down, it's all about your feet. Yes. The handholds will come. Yes. As long as you can kind of keep moving your feet up nice and slowly. Yes. <laughs> Bloody hell! Bloody hell! Oh. What do you think of that? That was fun. Fun. They're a sick twisted. <laughs> Great team. So I'm just going to attach you all to this anchor here just now. And I'll talk you through what's going to happen when uh, we move off. We're all going to shit our pants is what's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that ship sailed, mate. Oh, you already have? I thought I caught a whiff of adrenaline. <laughs> <laughs>
and which is fun you have at the time. Uh -huh. Type two fun is fun you have afterwards. Uh -huh. Then type three fun is when afterwards you're like, still not fun. <laughs> I know, and I think this will be type two. Yeah, yeah. If you, I live. You never know until afterwards. No, no. <laughs> it could be type three, it could yeah, be type two. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Uh, okay, guys. Jesus, have you seen what so, we've come up? That's, I'm not looking down. Uh, I'm just it's best not to look down. Nice and snug on you. Just lean into the anchor from the dog. Just take a there we go. All to have you nice. Look forward to your speech at the end of the video. I'll just copy and paste the other one. I think so. I think it's going to be the same fucking thing. <laughs> Don't. Not ever. Not now. <laughs> Don't. Careful, careful with me, because I'm going to possibly fall here. Okay? Yeah, all good. Is this the right way? That's it, Vince. Follow that bit back now, guys. This is another performance. Sorry about this. Sorry about what? <laughs> Enjoy it. Enjoy or survive. Survive. Uh, of course. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Well done, guy. 15 pounds in 12 weeks. Wow. I think wow. I've done a lot of work for it, but a lot of it's the coke. Yeah. <laughs> I just know it is. Yeah. <laughs> So you can say today, you met a guy who's weaning himself off his coke habit. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Action. Are you enjoying this? I am. Good. <laughs> I am. It's important that one of us is. <laughs> as scared as I am of this. The rope and you makes me feel safe. Great, good. So, uh, same with Gillian. Makes such a difference. Yeah, yeah. I just wouldn't, I just wouldn't without a professional on a rope. Your knee is, you have no power once you're in that position. Good, be oh, right. is it? All right, I'm, down I'm worried about slipping here. Are you all right there? Uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for the rope to tighten a bit. Right, give me a second. So, another steep bit coming up here. Oh, this takes us just to the bottom of the corner. Okay. So, again, it's just very similar to the last bit. Just uh -huh. have we look around. Yeah. So we've got good holds here, and it's just kind of following the ledge out. Yeah. <laughs> There's Eden Valley over there. There's lovely Glen Chief Road, the James Bond Road over there. And here we are in the middle of the fucking thing on a rock face. What the fuck are we doing? 54 years of age and 14 stone 13. <laughs> Other than that, I think on the better side, mate, you could, you could be in a garden centre eating a cheese scone. Oh, don't tease me. By the Privet Bridge. Don't bridge? Privet. What? Privet Bridge. Privet Bridge. The a Privet Bush. Was held privet bush. You've just made the garden centre sound so appealing. Oof. Oh. Do you think he's got her left us? <laughs> I wouldn't blame him. Not for a second. His rope just drops. <laughs> what would he do? He just see him keeling out of the side. <laughs> I think I've got signal. Be a helicopter job. I wouldn't move. Oh, oh no, it's just a crow. Yeah, oh, bloody hell. Yes, I can. It's going to be the stuff of nightmares. Fine when you're ready. Going to be here on that for a few weeks and be nightmares. Can I get round that way or. So it has to be up here? Shit. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> right, that was a twat.
Yeah. You know there's a rope down here? Yeah, it's an old, uh, an old piece of rope someone's left. Oh, it's not yours. Yeah. Okay. Little fiddly day, but not as bad as you've done. Good. Good. Yeah. Good. Enjoy that. Enjoy's a big word. Uh, uh, uh. I'm pretty certain I'm on stage two though. I'm pretty certain that tonight went all the way to Dumbarton, which is 30 yeah. miles, as our nearest dominoes. Yeah. I yeah. got them yesterday for tonight. Nice. So uh, t tonight I think I'll look back well on it, but time will tell. I'm enjoying right now, no. No. I'm scared. But, but not in a bad way. Not in a debilitating way. Can he, be, can he be scared in a good way? I think it's adrenaline and I think like people are really nervous before they go on stage and they perform better, I think it's the same sort of thing and I'm just not looking down. I'm terrified of what I'm doing. It's... I know I have to do it and I will do it uh, and that's that. But to say enjoy is really... And yet the Anarch Egop remains one of the greatest things I've done in my life. So sometimes you have to go past that barrier. Otherwise you just... Watch telly. Uh, a vertical wall. 17th vertical wall of the day. Uh, to show you a highlight of the route now, the best handhold on the whole mountain. Yeah? It's amazing. I'll give you a moment in private with it. <laughs> The best handhold on the mountain. Uh, okay. This is it here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's just like, it's like the, the, the jug that, right. the mother of all jugs. Yeah, yeah, so you've got to have a moment enjoying it. Right. That's, right, grab the jug <laughs> and look for the tight crack. <laughs> That's a perfect jug. Uh. Look for the tight crack. Okay. Yep. If you can stand over there, Dave, that's great. Excellent team. Right, guys, last little pitch here. Then it's a picnic stop after that, okay? Oh, wonderful. Oh, right, we are approaching the top of Curve Bridge, yeah? Alive. Alive. All right? Yeah. How's your entire body? <laughs> okay, guys, climb up in the way. The block of doom hanging above us. The what? The block of doom. Have a look around and see if you can see Oh my it. god! Yeah, that big thing there. Whoa. So there used to be about half a metre more rock supporting that, Whoa. but that all the, came away. The block of down. doom. Yeah, yeah, so it went down at some point. That's uh, no one under it, would you? No, no. <coughs> Crowberry Gap? Crowberry Gap. Crowberry Gap. Crowberry Gully uh, left hand finish is its technical name. It's a winter, a winter route kind of finish. You made it to the top, mate. Uh, congratulations. Well done, it. Uh, well done. Well done, sausage. That's a hell of an achievement. That was. With, with regard to the weather, like, like I said earlier, I've every trip I've had to Scotland over the last couple of years, the weather's been absolutely fine. Doug has a theory on, on like, like the Scots actually lie to the English about the weather <laughs> yes. to, to keep the bastards out. That's his theory on it anyway. Yeah. So we've just arrived down from Curved Ridge 
and this is the fork and we have some advice on the fork essentially this is two pathways up Bukhara the Tifmo that way is for mentals which is what we've just done that way is for normal people which is the one we'd recommend thank you very much you're very welcome so Doug question your opinion of Curved Ridge um, it's been two days now since we did Curved Ridge and the answer I'm going to give you is very different to the one I would have expected to have given you post or pre curve ridge, I should say. I found it um, terrifying but exhilarating. Exhilarating, I think, for two reasons. The, the first was the weather. The weather was utterly magnificent. Um, it was a beautiful day. The rocks were incredibly dry, but not only was it just a beautiful day that day, it had been a beautiful day for several days beforehand, and the rocks had stayed dry. It was perfect conditions for doing what we'd done. The second reason is that I thoroughly trusted Dave. Not you. Christ, I'm not stupid. I mean, Dave Anderson, the guide. And that obviously had a massive help um, in, in those terms. He's such, a, he's such a twat. <laughs> <laughs> would I do it again? The surprising answer to that is yes, I would. Would I do it again without ropes, and without a guide? Not a chance in hell. Um, and so therefore, my advice to anyone thinking of doing this is if you're planning on doing it with ropes and with a guide brilliant i think you'll have an exhilarating day i think you'll really find it fantastic if you're not planning on doing it with ropes and a guide and you're not a really experienced climber would you please send me your address so that i can write to your wife and children afterwards expressing my sympathy That's it, really. <laughs> Thank you very much, Doug. So what did I think of Curved Ridge? Absolutely amazing, uh, to be honest. Certainly, in my opinion, one of the best mountains in the UK. Um, yeah, probably is the best mountain in the UK, to be honest. Um, I mean, we, we were really lucky that day because the weather was fantastic. Um, I mean, it was in its mid twenties, mid to high twenties, actually. Not a drop of rain. We left at some unearthly hour in the morning. I mean, I think we got up at like, was it a quarter to four? Something ridiculous like that. And I did whinge about it at the time, but it was so worth it because the time we started the mountain, and even when we got to the top, uh, we virtually had it to ourselves. There was, I think we spotted maybe two people. Uh, so that was good. Yes, it was difficult. Um, you kind of dress it up any other way. It's a grade three scramble at the end of the day. So it's not without its dangers, um, but well worth it. Um, definitely well worth it. In terms of experience, um, I mean, I'd put, put it up there. I mean, I'm thinking of, things I've done in, in the last couple of years um, you know taking the motorbike down the Swiss Alps we recently cle uh, cleaned we recently climbed the Anak in Scotland exploring Spain stuff like that and this day on Curve Ridge was up there with with all of it to be honest I mean we booked a guide um, in, in hindsight, it was worth every penny. Um, it's a company called Lockerberg Guides, based in Fort William in Scotland. Um, the guide and the owner, uh, called Dave Anderson, absolutely brilliant. Um, like I say, worth every penny. He was very professional. He gave us good advice, kept us safe. He was good company. Um, I really couldn't speak highly enough of him and his company. Um, yeah, Lockerbur guides in Fort William, check them out. Uh, you will not be disappointed, I can guarantee that.
Let's take it slow Where you go, I go to And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you Let's take it slow Who cares where we gotta be You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me Let's take it Take it slow, where you go, I go to And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you Let's take it slow, who cares where we gotta be You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me Let's take it 